she started tilting her head to the left. And mind you, she was a perfect three-year-old. She was perfect, right on target with everything. And then one day she started sneezing and a bunch of mucus would come out and we thought she had a sinus infection. So we took her to the doctor because she started walking kind of funny and the doctor didn't see anything wrong, but he said that maybe we should go get a CAT scan. So we did. And that night we found a large mass in her brain and they told us basically that we were going to have to do emergency surgery the next morning and we did an MRI and it showed that the mass was uh, definitely a tumor and um, it needed to come out. It was the size of a baseball in my little three-year-old's head and my whole world was shattered. I mean, I've seen the pictures of kids that were sick, but they were never my kid. And then all of a sudden it was my kid and I knew nothing about cancer. I, I, had no, I had no idea what I was going to face. And the next month we spent at Galisano's Upstate Hospital for Children. Galisano's told us that if they couldn't give us the care that we needed, that they would find the people that could. And because of Brooklyn's tumor, 70% um, of anaplastic ependymoma, 70% of those tumors are in the back of the head. Brooklyn's was in her frontal lobe, so it was kind of above her left eye. And because of the size of it, it was very, very unique. They said it's probably been there since birth, and it just started showing symptoms. She only had symptoms for about three days. So Galisano, they took the tumor out. They were able to take the entire tumor out, which is something that blows my mind. And they took the tumor, they cut it into little tiny pieces, and they sent St. Jude three slides of each piece, and they sent them thousands of slides of this tumor, and it took about a week. But uh, St. Jude looked at it and decided that they would accept us. And when we got the notification at Galasano's that we were accepted to St. Jude, everybody was ecstatic. The nurses and the doctors, everybody was so, so excited for us to come here. She has uh, anaplastic ependymoma, and proton is kind of like a sniper shot of radiation where it goes straight to a specific point and they can control the radiation so that it doesn't damage the good parts of the brain. It only damages the bad part. St. Jude um, is the only pediatric center that offers uh, proton beam radiation. Um, it's been available since 2015. It is state-of-the-art technology, um, and actually our doctor, our primary doctor, Dr. Merchant, is the one that kind of created this. So we are very blessed, very, very blessed to be here under his care at St. Jude. They cover everything, they cover everything. And when you find out that your child has brain cancer, that's enough to handle, that's enough to handle. And you want the best care because I don't know anything about this. And I need somebody who knows what they're doing. And St. Jude knows what they're doing. They have the best doctors. Brooklyn has had six surgeries total. And St. Jude has covered our housing here. They have covered our bills as far as medical goes. We don't ever have to worry about a bill here. So Brooklyn, her life is being handled by the best people. And I don't have to worry about paying for that. And we also don't have to worry about flying here. We have to come here every two to three months for scans. And St. Jude will make the arrangements for us. They will fly us here for free. And Brooklyn will get the scans done. And if it shows up again and the tumor grows again, we are covered again. And that is amazing. St. Jude has given us years and years and years with our daughter. And I cannot ever repay them for that. It's the worst hell you could ever imagine. And then you come to a place like this and um, it just, uh, it gives you hope back. I didn't think I'd get that back. Um, when we first got here, I was kind of in like a, we call it a cancer cocoon, <laughs> where you just kind of keep your head down and you don't want to talk to anybody else. You don't want to see anybody else. You just want to focus on your family and you don't care about anybody else. And then after like, a month of us being here, I finally started to kind of like lift my head up and I met three moms that had their daughters have the same tumor as Brooklyn, the same diagnosis as Brooklyn. To, to meet moms that their kids have the same exact tumor and diagnosis, it is, um, it's a relief.
it's a relief to know that I'm not alone. It gave me more more to life, I guess. I, I, it's, it's very hard to explain, but, you know, finding this out, I felt alone, and now I don't feel alone. I know that there's people out there that understand what I'm going through, and I can talk to them. So when I do go home to New York, and I am alone, and I feel alone, I always have those people I can call. My son, Logan, he actually came here right before Christmas. Obviously, he had no friends, and he missed home. But he had a birthday here, and um, they threw him a birthday party. So it took the stress away from me. Logan got a really great birthday, and they sang him happy birthday. There's a bunch of playgrounds that he gets to play at. Every time we go to an appointment for Brooklyn, there are toys, and there are kids his age. And a lot of the kids don't have hair, just like his sister. And it's completely normal. It has normalized it for him. St. Jude, they pay for us to fly here for every treatment that we have. They also provide us housing. And we don't have to worry about rent or where we're going to stay. They set us up for everything. I don't have to worry about food. Volunteers make our meals. I don't have to worry about that either. All that money that you donate to St. Jude, it goes to the families. There are so many things that, that money does here that I don't think does for other corporations. If you give to another corporation, you'll never see where that money goes. You'll never see where it goes. But if you donate to St. Jude, I will tell you, it has helped me. It has helped me.